Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and today I'm doing a quick review for Trifox on Xbox. Now this was released in October 2022 and it's a really cool sort of top-down 3D platforming game uh, developed by Glowfish Interactive and published by Big Sugar Games. Now the story basically is after his home is attacked and his TV remote is stolen and we can all relate to not knowing where the TV remote is, nothing worse than that. Uh, Trifox sets out in pursuit of the mysterious looters in an action-packed adventure. So this game sort of gives sort of homage to the classic sort of platformers similar to sort of like Crash Bandicoot, Spyro's, that kind of thing. However, it does its own unique spin on it, not just with its sort of more top-down twin stick sort of control scheme, but in just the way it presents itself. So there are four different worlds to work your way through and each of these worlds has a variety of levels and a boss level now as with sort of crash bandicoot games you have like the hub world you know where you like stand on the button to open the hub world to then jump in so while not exactly the same it's definitely um it's definitely took a lot of inspiration from that and i'm not complaining about that in any way now each of these levels across these four worlds look fantastic they've got bright colorful graphics they all stand apart um, in their different designs there's like a futuristic -y sort of more industrial style one with like floating sort of electrical platforms and stuff there's more sort of like outdoorsy sort of um trees and wooded areas with waterfalls all that sort of thing and they all they all stand apart they're all bright colorful in your face look fantastic now one thing that makes this game stand out about above the other type of games is there are sort of different classes that you can pick so there are a trio of classes i assume that's why it's called trifox which are warrior mage and engineer now these three different classes and um, basically give you different abilities and you can sort of deal with things in a different way so the engineer has a backpack which you can basically use gadgets with the warrior is more sort of hands-on you jump in you smash people with a big hammer and your mage obviously is more sort of ranged and crowd control sort of spells and abilities now as you progress through the game you collect coins which can be spent on new skills each of um, the classes has about 10 different skills and you can pick and choose so you can have sort of like a mix between the two you don't have to go sort of like fully warrior you don't have to go fully mage which is really awesome as well now gameplay wise this plays like a variety of different platformers we've played like say it is more sort of twin stick sort of shooter-esque uh, in the way it controls over the sort of um the classic behind the character sort of platformers however if you've played like a crash bandicoot game something like that you will have no problem like getting straight into this like the boss stages really remind me of sort of crash style boss fights um you know like where they've got patterns you have to avoid and stuff like that um and honestly it's a really really good game now it's got great level design um like i say it's got great sound effects it looks fantastic um, my only complaint about it is it's pretty short. Like I say, there's not a, um, a huge amount of levels, which is a shame. And you'll probably get through the whole game just if you're just playing the story in about five to six hours. If you're going to go for all the collectibles, because there are collectibles to find on the levels, you may be going to push that to about eight, nine hours, depending on sort of how in-depth you get into it. But... Um, yeah, it, it's just the lack of levels um, quantity is the only downside, which isn't a bad thing. It is priced at a lower price at £16.74. And if you like sort of a challenging but not rock hard platformer, you like those sort of classic Crash Spyro games, you like to have the ability to sort of mix up your classes and try different ways of approaching things, which is something none of those other games do. Like I say, in Crash, you play as Crash and that's it. Whereas in this, you can, like I say, you can be all gadgety, you can be all like run and gun, sort of smashing into people and stuff like that. Um, 
but like I say, pretty cool. And like I say, for a, a first in a series, I'm really looking forward to more of them coming out. Um, like, but like I say, there's only the 13 levels all in, but there are, like Crash Bandicoot, I'm, I hate comparing it, it does have the um, different sort of difficulties to get like the extra gems and stuff like that to get the full completion. So there is variety and replayability in there as well. And they've done an absolute fantastic job. So check this out, like I say, um, honestly, a, a huge surprise to me um, how good this game actually is. If you're into your platformers, you need to be playing this. But that's that for this video, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and leave a comment down below if you've played this game or it's something you're looking at playing. Because like I say, it wasn't on my radar till I played it, and I'm honestly glad I did because it, like I say, it gives me the vibes of classic platformers, but it has that sort of its own presence that make it unique in that way. Well then, that guys, we'll see you soon. Bye for now.